Okay, Rowan, welcome to Australia and to the Saw Sydney event. Um, I thought I'd show off our Commodore 64 robot guitar. And I understand it was your birthday recently, so why don't you play Happy Birthday? <laughs> Tell us more about your device and how you created it, how you got the idea for it. Uh, well, yeah, I had one when I was the first computer when I was a kid, a young child, a young adult, and I uh, thought I'm going to get back into it and one day do some programming. So I wrote it first in Pascal and then since rewritten it in Assembler. Uh, and I've kept it as old school as possible. The comic was doing 90% of the work. Although it does rely on a couple of Arduinos simply to drive the servo motors. But uh, this is, uh, you can see on the screen here, it's loaded the entire tablature of the song. And you can edit it. Uh, it now supports strumming. Uh, but yeah, all the code is sent over the user port in parallel. Uh, and I'm loading from the floppy disk drive in 1540, 1581. So it's uh, as old school as I could possibly. How long have you been working on this? About three years now. <laughs> it's been gradually being added to. But uh, yeah, I'm quite proud of it. I've got a few ideas to maybe put it on the internet to let people be able to play it remotely over a website. Um, also, uh, being able to educate people how to play the guitar and also drive maybe the seat chip instead of the guitar so you don't have to hook it up to a real robot. You can use the seat chip instead. So that's what I'm working on at the moment. What inspired you to do this? How did you get the idea for this? Well, I, I don't know. Uh, I just wanted to try something robotic and like music. It seemed to be something that was within my reach. So I didn't want to try and uh, build a rocket ship. I thought I'd start with something like a guitar. And yeah, I'd seen something similar on YouTube that was very much more complicated than this. I managed to keep it uh, old school. Uh, could you tell us more about the construction of uh, how you built the, your device over the guitar there? Yes, uh, I kept it as I say, as simple as possible. It's two G clamps and a piece of wood. So the piece of wood is held in parallel to the fret bar, fret uh, arm, uh, neck, and I was then able to mount, just with our aluminium brackets, these uh, servo motors. They're about $2 each on eBay. And 
then also put a uh, Arduino board here and an Arduino board here. So this front board I built from scratch is off the user port as I mentioned earlier, has the opt out isolation so it protects the Commodore 64 from any power coming from here back to the Commodore 64. It's a one way circuit. Um, yeah, that's, that's how I started and I've kept it nice and clean by using these what they call shields. So each motor has a, an individual connector. So it keeps it simple from a wiring perspective. Can anybody build this device or do you have to have a certain kind of knowledge to mount it over the guitar like that? I'm happy to share how I've done it, uh, but it's fairly um, just normal Phillips head screws going into the wood here to hold the brackets in place. Um, the wiring is just however you program the Arduinos to say pin 7 represents servo number 1, etc, etc. So I've managed to map it, but I'm happy to share the source with anyone who's interested. Uh, your, program, uh, your program is called Robot Guitar? Commodore 64 Robot Guitar. Yes. <laughs> Commodore 64 Robot Guitar. And you are up to version 3, I call it. Three. Three. Yes. The first one was in Pascal. The second one was in assembler, but this one is also in assembler, but it has more motors. It has two Arduinos, uh, one acting as a master and the other as a slave, and it supports strumming. So I thought I'm up to three really. So. Do you see any further improvements in the program? Uh, what would you like to have in it in the future? I already, I already mentioned the SID chip. That would be oh yes, right. Okay. So I can do a lot of testing of my songs before I actually even connected to the guitar. Uh, it would also mean people could use the same software without having to build this, just listen to it on the seat chip. Um, and also being able to have it available for playing on an internet website. That would be kind of cool. So you can build your songs on the program, mm. play them out with the guitar, and then save them. Correct. We, even if you, before you play them, you can save them. And you can, uh, I haven't got a full uh, directory capability yet, that's another thing I'd like to have, okay. so that maybe you hit a button and it'll bring up the, the, yes. the current catalogue of songs on yes. the disc, and then you can slide to one and select it, rather than having to remember, at the moment I have to type out the name of the song, and too bad if I missed it, if I forgot what the name of the song was, you won't be able to load it. You're, um, you're playing this off a disc, will it also play off an SD card? Correct, yes, my first version was SD, I was just now, to Thank you, Steve. I mean, uh, if, if, uh, if people want more information, uh, I guess I'll put it up someplace. Well, if they Google Commodore 64 and Robot Guitar, they will find it. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you very much. No problem. Thank you.